water, Sheriff? Better take care of this in her life. A bullet hole makes a man powerful thirsty. Here you are, son. Thanks, Deputy. It's mighty good of you after all the trouble I've been to you. Why, we're sorry for you. You ain't the first one we've had to catch and hang and probably won't be the last. <laughs> We'll see. Jail. Might be a holdup. Stage comes through about this time of night. Hope to have better luck than I did. Looks like you've been held up, Charlie. Right you are, Sheriff. Good man hold up. Did he get anything? Only the express box with 5,000 in it. Ben, give this man your horse. All right. He disappeared right over that slope. Need to rub down. Sorry to bother you, miss, but there's been a holdup and we followed the robber to this ranch. You better put that down, son. Luke told me to take care of Ruth while he was gone, and I'm a-doing of it. Who's Luke? He's my big brother. Where'd he go? He rode up to Box Canyon. One of our cows are sick. Sheriff? Here's the neck piece he wore. Found it down back of the krill. Son, when did you leave Mexico? About two months ago. Say, how did you know we'd been in Mexico? Why, it's a Mexican scar. Charlie, ride up Box Canyon. If you find anybody, bring him in. Sheriff, yeah. it wasn't my brother. He wouldn't do anything wrong. your time here. These folks are friends of mine. Is that so? Well, this evidence we found don't look as if I'm wasting my time. Well, Charlie, yeah. take a look around. That road agent may have left something more behind besides this. All right. On, Do you mind if I look around a bit, miss? I thought I told you never to come here again. But I want to be your friend. Well, we got him, Sheriff. No! 
got the express box too, but it's empty. You didn't do it, did you, Lou? Did you? There, there, now don't cry, Bobby. Remember, you're a little man. Don't worry, Ruth. It'll be all right. How do you know it'll be all right? If you didn't rob the stage, how come this scarf was found in your corral? Well, that's easy. It was placed there to throw suspicion onto me. Maybe. What about this express box? I didn't have it. Your boys found it in the canyon. Yeah, and we found you riding away from it, you thief. Take that back, you liar! Wait a minute, son. That temper of yours won't do you any good. Charlie, you stay here with the rest of the boys. That money's around here somewhere. Five thousand dollars and twenties. You can look until you're blind. You won't find any part of it. Get on your horse. You're gone with me. Luke! Give me a moment to dress, please. I want to go with him. Me too. All right. Ruth. Good-looking gun you got there, Clary. Yeah. Hundred and new twenties. Yeah, that's part of the loot. Sheriff Barrity? Well, 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 I'm proud out about you. Last time I was talking to the governor, he says to me, Counselor, he says the best man in our county is our own Sheriff Barrity, the man who broke up the Black Horse Gang single-handed. Try this cigar and tell me how you like it. Glad you like it. I'm not a smoker myself, but I sure like the smell of a good cigar. And that ain't all I got for you. The governor told me about a book he owned. You see, I got a hold of a few copies of those myself, Sheriff. And if there ain't more law in that book than I know myself, I'll serve 30 days on your chain gang. The ranchman's own lawyer. Cut. What's the matter with you? I have seen you someplace before, haven't I? I remember you. 
Being obliged to account for every one of these reduced copies, I'll have to ask you to sign a receipt. Happy to meet you, Sheriff. Goodbye, Counselor. You know, a gent never passes up the chance to say, thank you. Why, hello, Doc. Uh, you must be mistaken. I'm not a doctor. Oh, that's funny. The last time he was here, he called himself an M.D. He was selling some kind of a book called Any Man's Doctor. What? The ranchman's own lawyer. <laughs> Matt, don't you know that that book will ruin more sheriffs than all the bad men in the West? How come? Well, you know when two men disagree around here, they shoot it out. Yeah, that's right. If the winner's justified, we make him a deputy. If he's wrong, we hang him. Just you let that book get circulated in this country, every man is going to think he's a lawyer. Hundreds of papers for you and I to serve, thousands of people drug into court, nothing but work. Good times for you and I will be gone forever. Well, the evidence in this case proves that the drinks are on me. wisdom of all the ages, compressed into a volume no bigger than the bottle in your hip pocket. In all my years of experience at the bar, I have found this book absolutely indispensable. It's helped me to defend men accused of murder, robbery, and wrestling. Even guilty men have escaped the gallows and saved their lives through this book. Suppose I was accused of murder tomorrow, even tonight. You can never tell when your life might be saved by the ranchman's own lawyer. How much is it? How much is room and board? Ten a week. Put me down for three weeks paid in advance, the book's yours. All right, I'll... Thank you. Howdy, Ted. Well, he was just here a minute ago. Reckon he's going to the bar. Just take a seat over there and wait. Sheriff, how's my friend? Can I set him up for you? I'll tell you what you can do for me. You can take your worthless book and get out of this county. You're no more a lawyer than my own horse. Sorry, Sheriff. My room and board's paid in advance. And I'm gonna enjoy your climate whether you like it or not. But you ain't selling that book. No? Watch me. I'm not asking you gentlemen to take my word for it. I'll show you the testimonial of your own sheriff. I highly recommend the ranchman's own lawyer. It has a lifesaver to me. Sign, Matt Verity. Is that proof enough? How about you? Sure, I'll take one too. If you have any friends, send them around. I'll do it. And a gent never passes up the chance to say, thank you. So long, Sheriff. <laughs> uh, Sheriff, looks like the drinks are on you. What are you going to have, boy? Mr. Counselor. Uh, were, you, were you speaking to me? Yes. I've just got to talk to you. Oh, on uh, some legal matter? It's about my brother, Luke. Oh. Uh, I just step in this room here. I 
I suppose I ought to introduce myself first. I'm Ruth Avery, and this is Bobby. They're just the three of us. He's the baby. Uh, I'm Dan Alton. Uh, won't you sit down? Luke's in jail for highway robbery. I've tried to get a lawyer from the outside, but they all want too much money. I heard about you. Won't you help me? Please. Oh, I am sorry, but I've been so worried. There, there. Oh, I'm all right. I must tell you about the case. The stagecoach was held up and robbed of $5,000. And the sheriff arrested my brother. That, that's all I can tell you, Mr. Counselor. Well, please go to the jail and talk to Luke. Please go now. Well, Miss, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. But you must help him. My brother's innocent. They'll hang him if he's found guilty. But seemed like Providence sent you the last moment, just when we, when we needed you the most. <laughs> now, don't you worry. You wait right here. I'll go over and have a talk with your brother. Thank you. Six bits you owe me. Sorry, Leif, but I ain't got it. No? Smart fella, that book agent. Hello, eh? friend sheriff. Say, what are you selling now? I came in to see the prisoner, Luke Avery. Sorry, but nobody can see him but his lawyer. You're looking at him right now. Hey, ain't you a little bit long on profession? Last time you was around here, you was a quack doctor. You must be mistaken. You got me mixed up with no, somebody else. No, I haven't got you mixed up. I like to die to the bellyache fooling around with that doctor book you sold me. Speaking of health, you better travel while the going's good. Oh, no, I'm here to see my client. Where are your credentials, Mr. Counselor? Did you ever see a lawyer pack his own diploma around with him? You better turn to page 19 in that line of $1,000. Well, Sheriff. Hey, Avery. There's a counselor out here to see you. Your sister has retained me to defend you. My name's Alton. I'm sure glad to see you, Mr. Alton. You know, uh, looks pretty bad for you, Avery. Oh, but you've got to get me off, sir. Well, I can't acquit you. But it's going to cost you $2,000 cash. Gee, I haven't got it. I'll sign over my ranch. No, how about that amount in cash or you will hang? I reckon I'll hang. Trying to get the prisoner to divvy up with the loot. Hey, Mr. Lawyer? Ah, just a test. He was guilty. Pay the 2,000 gladly to save his neck. Maybe. But he didn't have it to pay, and as far as I'm concerned, he's proved himself innocent. Well, I hope you can prove it in court. Well, the way I have proven it wouldn't hold in any court. But I'll find a way that will. You better get busy. He goes on trial day after tomorrow. Let me show you something. With all this evidence in steam, it looks pretty black. No, you don't. I don't trust any more counselors. 
Here's the scarf the rock was found under his door. And here's the empty strong box that was found near where we caught him. Where'd you dig up all this evidence anyway? Some of my men. And uh, me and Bill Clary found the hundred under Avery's front doorstep. Hmm. Well, I gotta get busy and prepare my case. Well, see you in court, Sheriff. He ain't no lawyer. He's smarter than a lawyer. Yeah? Well, you heard what he read on page 19. And if that book works like his doctor book did, we'll probably both have a pain. Here he comes, sis. I saw your brother. All the evidence against him looks pretty bad. Oh, but you'll get him free, won't you? I'll try. Who's this man, Clary? A friend of yours? Why, he likes me. But she don't like him. She don't. Clary ever have anything against your brother? Well, Luke ordered him to keep away from the house. Did it ever occur to you that Clary might have held up the stage? Why, no. I've got a little scheme. I want you to help me out. Sit down. You know, Leif, I don't enjoy hanging a man unless it's the right party. Well, if Luke Avery ain't the right party, who is? Maybe it's Bill Clary. You know, Clary's been sparking Avery's sister and she turned him down. Maybe Clary put that money under the steps. Well, if he did, he's probably got the rest of the 5,000. Suppose we go over to Clary's place and turn it upside down. This book agent ain't got all of the bright ideas. Did you send for me? Hi, I'm a witness against him. But if you didn't testify... Well, I have to. I, I've already been subpoenaed. You could go away. There's only one thing that would take me away. And that is... You. You go with me. I couldn't go away with you, Bill. It takes money and we haven't any. Oh, don't worry about money, Ruth. I have plenty. No, no. I couldn't, Bill. It wouldn't be fair to Luke. Well, if you'd rather have me testify against Luke, it's all right with me. Oh, no. No. Don't go. Give me time to think it over.
Blake, you go in the house and keep him busy while we search the barn. Light out? Hey, Clary, strike a light. Where you at, Clary? You better come on out now, Cleary. You better come on out now, Cleary. Back there at the bridge. I'll be waiting, Ruth. Just pack a few things. I'll get you a new outfit when we get to Denver. Good night, Bill. Good night, Ruth. Sheriff. Hi, you, Mr. Counselor. What are you doing out here at this time of night? What do you think? Preparing my case. Oh, yeah? And what are you doing out here this time of night? Looking for a cowboy. He robbed Clary's ranch. And you let him get away? I'm not so sure he got away. Oh, well, uh, where did you lose him? Right here, where I just met you. Well, that's funny. I didn't see any cowboy. No? Well, I suppose I'll have to take your word for it. Thanks, Sheriff. 
I guess we'll have to spend the rest of the night looking for him. I hate to see you lose a night's sleep. Well, I'm hungry. Guess I'll go to town and get some beans. Beans? Well, so long. He had the same idea we had. He was at Clary's. Let's go back and turn that place upside down. Didn't lose anything of value, did you, Clary? <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks as though uh, they were looking for something to eat. Yeah. called on Bill Clary last night. You're not gonna arrest him this morning, are you? Why should I? Oh, I thought you might have dug up some evidence last night. Not a scrap. Somebody ransacked his place. And I thought maybe you might have an idea who it was. Haven't the least idea, Sheriff. Well, when the time comes, I think I can lay my hand on the man who done it. <laughs> Son, I'm sorry, but you know you can't see prisoners without an order from the sheriff.
sure kept Clary busy last night. But did you find any evidence? Not a scrap. Then Clary didn't rob the stagecoach. I'm still positive he did. That honorary sheriff showed up and nearly caught me. I had to make a getaway through the window. Clary said he wouldn't testify against Luke. He'll have to if he's in the county. But he's going away. Did he tell you he was? When he was with you last night? Yes. What's wrong with you, Ruth? You look hopeless this morning. I'm going away, too. Oh, please don't think I'm deserting Luke. I can't explain, but I've got to go. How come you and Clary are both going away at the same time? You are going with him, aren't you? I've got to go, Dan. I must help my brother. Where'd you get this? In the sheriff's office. I was trying to see Luke. You mean, tell me you stole that out of his office in broad daylight? Well, he keeps the place locked up at night. Besides, we've got to get Luke out of jail. Don't we, sis? Yes, Bobby. You're right, Bob. Ruth, let Clary think you're going with him tomorrow. When court opens in the morning, I'll have enough evidence to clear your brother. You little devil. So long. Well, lawyer, ain't he, sis? <laughs> no? Cover that. I'll hold the stake, Doc. Just how do you figure to free Avery? You'll be surprised. Put that away for me, will you? It's a hold up. Step out, gents, and uh, stretch your legs. Not you, ladies. Sit down and take it easy. Young man, I'm judge of this county, and this gentleman is the state's attorney. Glad to meet you, Judge. Just drop your wallets on the ground. I'll take that watch, driver, and yours too, guard. Much obliged. Don't mention it. Get him. A gent never passes up the chance to say thank you. Shove off, driver. Any of you people recognize him? No, but I'd recognize that scarf anyway, huh? So would I. Charlie, what happened? 
hell up the stagecoach again. Get the boys ready to ride, Lake. Where you been? Preparing my case. Why? What's happened? Stage is held up again. Get your horse and I'll deputize you. Ah, uh, no thanks. I got a big day in court tomorrow. So have you, Sheriff. Better not ride too far. Just a minute, Counselor. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Beans, maybe. Same. What do you mean by telling me not to ride too far? Oh, I just wanted you to be sure and be in court to see me acquit Luke Avery. Good night. Did you see Clary last night? Yes. Then our scheme work? Yes. I told him I had to come to town, and he promised to wait at the house for me. Oh, that's great. Now, when we go to court, we'll send Bobby back out to the ranch to entertain him. Deputy, get these hobbles off of me. No use trying to make a break, son. You better put down that gun and call on peaceful. If I don't get these hobbles off, I'll blow your head off. Come on, we'll be late for court. Come on, Luke. What happened to you? I can highly recommend your book now, counselor. Been a lifesaver to me. Sure, if ain't gonna have much use for that gallop now. Oh, I don't know. Still got Luke Avery. One more remark like that, and I'll break your neck. I gotta take Luke around this one. You ride on back to the ranch, Bobby. Tell Clary Ruth will be back soon. Got it? I got it. Thank you. 
All right, Judge. Don't you worry now. Everything's gonna be all right. Is that the cowboy you were telling me about? The one who pretends to be a lawyer? That's him. But he's not a bad fella. Maybe I've been a little too hard on him. Can't be too hard on anybody. Who makes a joke of the legal profession? You were in a hole-up last night, weren't you? Yes, sir. And you got prejudice against road agents. Well, I... And you ain't gonna take it out on my client. Your Honor, I protest. If you allow this man to excuse everyone that's ever been in a holdup, we'll never get a jury. But we're only one man short, Your Honor. Objection overruled. What's your honor? Is there anybody in this courtroom who has never been held up? Yeah. I've never been held up, Your Honor. <laughs> Young man, another smart aleck remark out of you, and you go to jail for contempt of court. Said to make you comfortable. She'll be back soon. Thanks, son. Can I get you something else? No, I guess not. You were the guard. The night Luke Avery is alleged to have held up the stagecoach. I am. Would you recognize the scarf he wore? You bet I would. Well, is this the scarf? Why, this was the scarf worn by the robber who held us up last night. Why, that's impossible, Your Honor. That scarf was in the custody of the sheriff last night. I'll be a son of a horned toad. Yes, sir, Leif, it is. It's the one the bandit wore. I saw it myself when he got my wallet. Well, then there must have been two scarves. Remember that, you boys in the jury box. Silence! Who's trying this case? Say, who's being tried anyway? Young man, I... All the next week, this. William Clary. Where's your witness, Sheriff? Why, well, I don't know. I've had deputies looking for him everywhere. He can't be located. Can't double cross me. I'm going to town and testify. Please, Edith. Bill, please don't go. Please, Bill. Bill, don't. Please don't go. Bill. <coughs> Gentlemen of the jury, you must find this prisoner innocent if you have any reasonable doubt of his guilt. But, Your Honor, if another road agent wore that same scarf, wouldn't that be a reasonable doubt? 
That is for you to decide. You will now retire. And consider you verdict. Jury agreed upon a verdict so soon. Find a prisoner not guilty on a reasonable doubt. <laughs> Judge, you done no. <coughs> Don't mention it. But a gent never forgets to say thank you. Why? You're the man who held us up last time. Sheriff, get that man. not a road agent. He held up that stage to keep me from being hung. <laughs> he saved you all right. But he'd let himself in for the hanging you would have had. Crazy. You run around here with a lot of stolen money and a posse looking for you. You can't bluff me. I don't have to bluff you. You think so? Look back. Well, I'll be a son of a horned toad. New 20s, Matt. By gosh, we were right, Leif. You ain't the only smart man in the law business, Doc. 
Yeah, uh, well, I caught him just in time. You fellas had me in a time. Yes, and you're still in it. We hang road agents in Colorado. Come on, there's a nice little room waiting in my jail for you. Say, Doc, what is this book you read all the time? Did you ever read The Ranchman's Own Lawyer? No, sir, not to me. Well, this book got me in here and it's going to get me... Come on out, Doc. Let's see how smart you are at defending yourself. I think I'll hire myself a lawyer. Before you begin anything else, I want my wallet back. Mine also. Yeah, and you better return. I don't know any more about it than you do. By the way, Sheriff, what do you got in that sack back there? My wallet and mine. Well, I'll be a son of a horned toad. Sheriff, I hope you can prove where you were when the robbery took place. What do you mean? Well, you had the scarf in your custody last night. Today, the loot's found in your office. Was it you robbed the stage, or, or was it Clary? You young scoundrel. You're not going to bluff your way out of this. You're going on trial for highway robbery. Fine. Then we'll try the sheriff, too. The jury can take their pick. Everyone knows I've been trying to save Luke Avery. We'll hold court here. And now, I find you guilty and sentence you to 10 years at hard labor. What? Suspended during good behavior. A gent never forgets to say thank you. <laughs> so long, Judge. So long. Come, come. Now, the bet. You know, the bet we made. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a lawyer that man could be. If he only was a lawyer. His clients swarm around him as though he was the head of the Supreme Court. Pretty girl, ain't she? Oh, look at that. Whoopee! Uh, for a kiss like that, <laughs> I'd have quit Jesse James. Wait, they're coming back. Oh, why, uh, Judge, uh, I, we forgot that, uh, uh are you a Marion Judge? That depends. Let me see. Why, I'm a lawyer. Well, that is, I'm a ranchman, if you call that good behavior. But I don't seem to remember the marriage service. Have you a book? Have I a book? You know, the last time I was talking to the governor, the governor says to me, Consular, he says, you know the greatest judge we have in this county is our own. He can't remember is a marriage ceremony. So he says, Gov, 
I've got just the book for him.